Good afternoon from the city of Mitcham in South Australia. Bill Quinn here again after eight days on the road. Six of them in uh, eight, nine, call it nine, nine days. Six of them were in Mbuntua and three of them were on the road to Mbuntua from Adelaide, uh, stopping at Augusta, Port Augusta, I beg your pardon, Pimba, and a place called Cadney's. Homestead, Cadney Homestead, Cadney Homestead. Last two, truck stops. First one, big caravan park. As you might be able to gather from my cadence and my searching around for words, I am not completely, but just about jets crackered. And that's even after falling into bed at 8 p.m. last night and only really getting out in a proper way about 20 minutes ago. Didn't sleep all the time because that's not a service that I always provide. I could have if I were racing around doing exciting things and meeting people and chatting, but yesterday was essentially a travel day. So that was just not something I could do. And when I got to the airport, at about half past five last night, or half past five, it felt night because it was dark and it was rainy. I thought, well, I could do what I did back in January when I came back from that ill-fated trip. When I say ill-fated, I'm being ironic and and you know, big smile. I, that ill-fated trip across the up to Brisbane and across the country and back to Adelaide. And then I decided, oh, I really want to see the end of the cricket. So I went to the West Adelaide Football Club and ended up joining them. That's why I say ill-fated. I haven't been back there for a few weeks. I will go back. But by glory, I'm going to have to have my wits about me. I'm going to have to have lots of sleep, lots of protein, lots of uh, hydration. Because, yeah, West Adelaide Football Club, love it dearly. But it's just not something you can deal with if you haven't got your wits about you. <laughs> it's the people. Anyway, uh, and uh, I still haven't been to Sturt Football Club, member of both, which has already confused the stuffing out of so many people. Eventually, it's going to annoy some people like you could only read about in books. <clears throat> but yes, I am a dual citizen of Sandful. <clears throat> I don't know that I've got allegiance to either two. The only thing is that if you want to use this sort of expression... I'm in the catchment area for Sturt. And back in the day, back in the days when I first started following sport, that's what sport was about. It was about your local area. It was about where you were born. It was about who you were. Uh, it's about where you were born. It's about who your family allegiances and your her heritage and your l legacy, if you want to use that sort of words, were about. Doesn't mean you have to. And I've met plenty who don't. And I like the Canberra Raiders. I get passionate about the Canberra Raiders. Wasn't my first team, purely because they didn't exist when I needed a first team. So on and so forth. Look, I could keep on going. But the point of the story was this, which I started to say on the other one, but ran out of space. Oh, that's interesting. Somehow I've lost seven minutes of... Anyway, moving on. I got in here at six, uh, six last night. I, I could have gone to West Adelaide Football Club last night because that's what I did after the January trip and joined them. Blah, 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 blah. Chose not to. I thought nothing good can come of this because at the moment I'm so knackered. One of two things is going to happen. I'm going to meet some really, really intelligent, lovely people and the bar people will be uh, the ones that I really, really like or if not, the new ones who I really, really, really like and it will spark me up and give me energy. And I'll sleep the sleep of the innocents. That could have happened. Or I walk in there and it's Monday. It's Easter Monday. Monday, Easter Monday. Well, that's the sort of way they talk there. Easter Monday. So anyone could have been there uh, or no one. And I could have got, you know, dickhead, donger, what's it and flapjacks who would just annoy the heck out of me. And I'd say something gobby. And the next thing I'd know, I'd be leaving with my tail between my teeth. <laughs> Typically, when I get some attitude over there, I don't uh, arc up. Typically, I say, oh, is that the time? I've got to go and get my hair nails pressed. There's no such thing. 
But I did walk in here and uh, to everybody who cleans their places within an inch of their life before they leave so they can come back to a nice house, I'm not saying that I did that, but I went a fair way to making sure that this place was pretty, pretty clean and clear, mostly. That was over there. Floors were washed, everything like that. It was bloody lovely. It was bloody lovely because all I had the energy to do was come over here, plug the telly back in, flop on the couch. The couch has gone out in empathy with me because they've flopped over the back. And that was it for me for about an hour. And by then I was ready for bed. So I'm back here and I'm here in Adelaide for a couple of days and then we're off for the next adventure. So I'll see you if I'm looking at you, typically if you're over in Western Australia. Bye for now.